I'm making some bone broth for the cats. I think it'll be good for Hydrox to have some. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. So what I have here are some marrow bones and I have them in a cast iron skillet and I just put them in the oven. They're actually frozen. They're in my freezer and I am going to roast these probably around 45 minutes, maybe a little bit longer since they're starting frozen. So I'll come back in a little while and we'll check on the bones. This is what the bones look like after they've been roasting in a 400 degree oven for about 45 minutes. I'm gonna take them out now and I'm gonna get my crock pot. I just put the bones and the fat drippings in my crock pot and now I am going to cover this with water. I just added about four quarts of water to the crock pot and I put it on high. And all that white stuff that you see on the top, that is the fat that has solidified uh, because I added cool water. Um, the other ingredient that I'm going to add is about a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. What that does is it helps pull minerals out of the bones and into the broth. I just added the vinegar. Now you can use more bones than this. I'm only using four bones because that's what I had in my freezer. If I had a bigger pack of bones, um, I would use more bones. This recipe is very flexible. Basically you just roast whatever bones you have, add them to the crock pot, fill it up with water, add a little bit of apple cider vinegar, and then let it cook on high for anywhere from 12 to 24 hours. So what I'm gonna do next is cover this and just put it aside and come back later. There it is, it will sit there and cook while I go about my day and do other things. It's been a few hours now and this is what the bone broth is looking like. It's just now coming up to a simmer, so I'm gonna to continue to cook this. It's about a half hour later and the bone broth has come up to a boil. So I just put it on low and I am gonna to continue to cook this on low. It's now the next morning and the bone broth has been cooking overnight on low. I'm actually going to turn the crock pot off right now. And this is what it looks like inside. It's still simmering away. A lot of the fat has risen to the top. It could be some of the marrow from the bones that is liquefied. So I'm just gonna cover this and let that cool down. And in a few hours, I will then ladle this out into jars. This is what the four bones made, almost four quarts of bone broth. And what I will do with this is put it in the refrigerator. And then when I put food together for the cats, I'll heat some of this up and I'll put some warm broth in their food. And then it heats their food up a little bit and it gives them some extra nutrition. And I specifically made this for Hydrox because he could use some extra nutrition in his food right now. Thank you for watching this Lucky Ferals video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.